Pimple vs Herpes What does it look like when you have herpes? In the United States, one out of every six persons has had a herpes virus at least once, whether intentionally or unwittingly. Even though only one-third of persons infected with this sexually transmitted infection exhibit any symptoms, those who do are unable to correctly diagnose it as herpes. What is the reason behind this? Herpes causes a rash that can look like a variety of things, including other sexually transmitted diseases like warts or syphilis, ingrown hairs, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infections, hemorrhoids, insect bites, shaving discomfort and most often pimples. You don't want to confuse something as deadly as herpes with something as common as pimples. As a result, it's critical to know what might be mistaken for herpes and what herpes looks like in real life. Why do pimples and herpes blisters occur? Let's take a look at why herpes occurs before we get into what it looks like. It's a sexually transmitted illness spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact, kissing, oral sex, vaginal sex, and anal sex, with an infected region of someone with the herpes simplex virus. HSV is divided into two types, the first of which causes blisters in the oral area, including cold sores and fever blisters, and is thus linked to oral herpes. HSV2 on the other hand, infects the vaginal area and produces genital herpes. This isn't to say that everybody with blisters on their mouth was infected with HSV1, they may have gotten HSV2 from an infected partner's genitalia during oral intercourse. Pimples, on the other hand, are connected to a lack of cleanliness. They develop when debris or oil clogs the skin's pores, oil glands or sebaceous glands, raising the risk of bacterial infection and irritation. Other disorders, such as folliculitis, a fungal infection in the hair follicle, or contact dermatitis, can clog the pores, skin contact with an allergen. Recognizing the bumps Pimples and herpes rashes emerge on the skin of your mouth or genital region as tiny, red lumps filled with pus. Although both itch, there are significant distinctions in the type, pus, and location of the two, which is why you should never confuse pimples with herpes. Nature of herpes and pimples Pimples are pink or red and are not see-through, whereas herpes appears as white, yellow, or red transparent sores or bumps filled with a clear liquid. Pimples can occur singly or in clusters, but they always have distinct patterns, whereas herpes sores are usually seen in a group. When you touch a pimple, it is perfectly spherical and feels stiff and rough. It itch. But they aren't uncomfortable unless you put pressure on them specifically. Herpes sores, on the other hand, are exceedingly painful red ulcers that appear on itchy, reddish, inflamed, and sensitive skin. Herpes rashes form, expand, and crust in repeating cycles of around two weeks, before exploding and leaving an ulcer-like sore and scrabs behind. The explosion itself is excruciatingly painful. This cycle continues until medical care is sought, and there is a painful and severe itching sensation prior to the emergence of the next sore. The most painful incidence is the first. Herpes is most likely the source of your sores forming and then receding, as pimples do not follow this pattern. They can arise at any moment and fade away rapidly on their own, depending on how much pus is stored inside. Herpes and Pimples Discharge Apart from understanding what herpes looks like, it's also important to know what herpes discharge looks like and how it varies from pimple discharge. As previously stated, herpes sores contain a clear liquid, whereas pimples have thick, white pus. If the blister is broken, crushed, or scraped, the pus spills onto the skin, increasing the risk of subsequent infections. 
This is why it is so important not to pop any sores or pimples. A blood discharge can occur if either of them bursts. While the lesions themselves are not filled with blood, the skin underneath them might break and cause bleeding. Herpes and Pimples Location Pimples are found within the pores itself since they are caused by blocked pores. In contrast to herpes sores, which appear outwardly on the skin's surface, they are lodged in the deep layers of the skin. Pimples will only rise beyond the surface of the skin if they have accumulated enough pus. Herpes sores can form in the mouth, as well as the vaginal region, which encompasses not only the genital region, penis and vagina, but also the rectum, buttocks, cervix in women, and thighs. Pimples on the other hand, can occur everywhere. For example, tight underwear, a bra, jock straps, and so on. They are more common in the summer since your entire body may be sweating. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for my upcoming herpes treatment videos.